Hello everybody, this is Karen and we're going to talk about division. And we're going to start with looking at this nice array of pistachios I have, have here. It's 12 pistachios and it's an array that shows you that it's 3 by 4 and that if we divide 12 by 3 we get 4 in each group. But that's kind of advanced for what I really want to talk about. I want to talk about if we're in kindergarten and we have a bunch of pistachios and we want to share them with our friends because kindergarten and even preschool is really where you start learning about division. If you have this group of 12 pistachios and you need to share them amongst your friends then you're going to share them like this. You're going to go, okay, here Loki, you can have one. Batman, you can have one. Ronald Weasley, you can have one. Loki, you can have another one. Batman, you can have another one. Ronald, you can have another one. Loki, another one. Batman, another one. Ronald, another one. Loki, another one. Batman, another one. Ronald, another one. And you're done. You shared. You dealt out. Now, I know you're thinking this is going to be on the test, and we're not going to have Loki, Batman, and Ronald Weasley to help us. So how are we supposed to show this? Well, here you go. A lovely picture drawn by Ariel, because she writes neater than I do. You have your original 12 pistachios, or whatever they are, and then she deals them out to the three different plates, and she shows that there are four pistachios in each on each plate. So that is what how you show this kind of division. Which formal name of this kind of division is partitive, but I don't know. I don't really like the formal name. So there's other names. Partitive is also called dealing out. And in class, we even are just going to refer to it as sharing. Okay? So these three terms all mean the same thing. Partitive, dealing out, and sharing and it has to do with the question if you have 12 objects and you're dividing it into three groups how many are in each group and now we're in the land of base five where everyone knows that Loki Batman and Ronald Weasley live <laughs> all right here we are land of base five and we have this thing here what what is this thing here this thing here looks like it's a one, two, four, base five, doesn't it? And I write out the word five because my handwriting is so messy you can't tell if it's a five unless I write it in letters. So we have a one, four, base five, and we want to share this or deal it out amongst our friends. Let's start dealing out. Loki gets one, Batman gets one, Ronald Weasley gets one. Uh-oh, let's see. Then Loki gets another one, but now we have this. Can we just give that to Batman? Is that fair? I don't think so. Oh. Well, what about Ronald Weasley? We like him. Is that okay? I like him more than Batman, maybe. I don't know. Still doesn't seem fair, no, does it? it doesn't seem okay. Fair. So that wouldn't be sharing and dealing out evenly. Okay. So what do you think we should do with that that long, that, that you know, five? There was something we did in class a little while ago, and it, I think it was called exchanging? Exchanging. Yes. Yeah, so let's trade in. The one five for what? Five ones. Five ones. All right, are you ready? Exchange taking place. Whoop. Oh, yeah, thank you. That one got left behind. Okay, so we just exchanged our one five for five ones, and now we can keep dealing out. So let's go to Batman because we ended at Loki last time. And then, what was his name again? Ronald. Ronald Weasley? Yep. Okay. And then over here again to Loki, over here to Batman, and over here to Ronald again, whose name I keep forgetting even though I know who he is. Okay. We have 1, 4, base 5. And All right. Here's our 1, 4, base 5. So I'm going to draw that with base blocks, except that I can't handle drawing the actual base blocks. So I just draw them like this, which we've talked about a couple times in class. So here's my 1, 4, base 5, which we can't really deal out yet because we need to make an exchange. So let's go ahead and make that exchange. Bam! Forget that guy. Let's have exchange him for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones, and then have our original 1, 2, 3, 4 um, ones. So now we can start dealing these guys out to the separate plates for our friends. Okay, so let's deal them out. 
we've got we're dividing or sharing amongst three so let's start sharing let's take that guy and put him here let's take this guy and put him there let's take that guy and put him there that guy 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 there and that guy there voila this is our final picture for 1 4 base 5 divided by 3 showing it as um, partitive or dealing out or sharing, whatever you want to call it.